This is a Squiz Kids podcast, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. Hello and welcome to the Great Big Squiz Kids Jokeathon. I'm Bryce Corbett and I'm delighted to say that joining me on this hop into hilarity is my very excellent colleague, Christy Kidgerina. G'day, Christy. How are you today? I'm great, Bryce. I'm excited to tickle my funny bone. Well, that's just as well, because a couple of weeks ago, we asked Squiz Kids to send in their favourite jokes, and the response was overwhelming. And look, I don't want to create unnecessarily high expectations here, but I reckon listeners are about to wet their pants. Oh, no one wants that. How about having them split their sides? Does that sound better? Really? (laughs) All right, all right. They're going to have a good old giggle. Let's go with that. Okay, shall we jump straight in? Yeah, let's do that because we've got a heap to get through. Settle in, people. It's going to be a funny old ride. Okay, our first jokes today come from Remy and Gus in Hackett in the ACT, who have a couple of oldies but goodies. Go on then, hit me. Remy says, why did the cow cross the road? Hmm, I don't know. Why, Remy? To get to the other side. Oh, gosh. So good. <laughs> go on, then. What about Gus? Uh, Gus says, where do cows go to watch TV? Mm, I don't know. Where? To the movies. Oh, yeah. I see what you've done there, Gus. Well done. <laughs> All right, so now we're going down to Kalongaluk, where we've got a bunch of jokes sent in by the school there, starting with Ava, who asks, what's an egg's favourite vacation? What is an egg's favourite vacation, Ava? That would be New York City. Get it? New York egg yolk. (laughs) Very good. Here's a joke from Shay. Shay asks, I wanted to buy some camo pants. The problem was, though, I couldn't find them. Get it? Oh. (laughs) Quite like that one. Brock also sends in a joke. I just ordered a chicken and an egg from Amazon. I'll let you know which comes first. Oh, good one, Brock. <laughs> Lily says, why do we tell actors to break a leg? Why do we? Because every play has a cast. Boom, tish. <laughs> and Eden, my uncle named his dogs Timex and Rolex. Do you know why, Christy? No, I don't know why. Because they're his watchdogs. Get it? Timex and Rolex. (laughs) Nice, Eden. That's fantastic. All right. So next we're going to Leota from Bond Beach. Knock, knock. Who's there? An interrupting cow. An interrupting what? (laughs) Yeah, all right. I see what you're doing, Leota. Uh, Archie from Watson ACT has the next joke for us. What country is always cold, Christy? Oh, I don't know. It's not Australia. Which country? Chile. (laughs) Okay, Isabella from the Central Coast. Why are celebrities never hot? Mm, I don't know. Why is that, Isabella? Because they have lots of fans. Ah, very clever. Freya from Tullambar asks, why was Cinderella so bad at soccer? Why was she so bad at soccer? Because she kept running away from the ball. (laughs) (laughs) She probably lost her shoes too. I bet she did. All right. Now to Eloise and Alastair from Balmain. What do you call a fake noodle? Oh, I don't know. An impasta. <laughs> Good one. Oliver and Lucas have a nice one. They're from Wartina. Their question is, what did the mushroom say to the carrot? I don't know. I'm a fun guy. Fun guy. Oh. Fungi. <laughs> oh, all right. And we're going to Maidstone. This one's from Arthur. Mm-hmm. Why did the boy sit on his watch? I don't know. Why? Because he wanted to be on time. Oh, I see what you've done there, Arthur. Uh, I could do with that one, Arthur. <laughs> now to Judah in Warrywood, who asks, why did the dolphin cross the road? I don't know. Why? To get to the other tide. Oh, tide. well done, Judah. Very good. <laughs> okay, and now we have Kaya from Richmond. Bryce, why do bees have sticky hair? I don't know. 
because they use honeycombs. <laughs> oh, good one, Kaya. <laughs> All right, we've got a couple now from Ethan and Stephen in Baldwin. Now, Ethan asks... One day, a policeman was walking down the street when he saw a man throwing rice around everywhere. Right. So the policeman asked, why are you throwing rice around? The man said, it's to keep away the elephants. Mm -hmm. And then the policeman looked around and he said, but there are no elephants around here. To which the man replied, well, it works, doesn't it? (laughs) You can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. And Stephen from Barwon, knock, knock. Who's there? Pencil. Pencil who? No, never mind. It's pointless. Oh, Stephen, well done. (laughs) All right. We have George here from Kangaroo Lake with another knock-knock joke. Mm -hmm. Knock-knock. Who's there? I eat mop. I eat mop who? You eat your poo. Ew. (laughs) Gross. Oh, dear, oh, dear. There had to be a poo joke, didn't there? There's always a poo joke. Yeah. Let's go to Torquay in Victoria now where Marley and Luca have a couple of jokes for us. Here's Marley's first joke. Bryce, I'm really worried about the calendar. Its days are numbered. Boom, (laughs) boom. So good. I thought you'd like that. Marley also says, someone tried to sell me a coffin today, but I told them that's the last thing I need. Oh, Marley. (laughs) And Luca says, it's not easy to come up with jokes about undelivered letters because people just don't seem to get them. (laughs) Very clever. That works on many levels there. Very good. (laughs) Luca also says, thanks for explaining the word many to me. It means a lot. Oh, Marley and Luca, you guys are really clever. That's awesome. That's clever. That is clever. Yeah, I'll give them that. Now we've got Ewan from Geelong West. Mm -hmm. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl in the toilet? Why? Because the P is silent. (laughs) That's funny. (laughs) All right, down to Thoreau in New South Wales and a joke from Emily. Emily says, person one, ew, something smells like up dog. Person two says, what's up dog? All right, there you go. And the first person says, nothing much, just chillin. Then Georgie also in Thoreau, why did the owl go to the toy shop? Why did the owl go to the toy shop? Because he wanted to buy guess who. <laughs> And now we've got Amavale Primary School Class 2E have sent us some jokes. Oh, good. Here we go. What's the difference between pea soup and roast beef? I don't know. Anyone can roast beef, but no one can pea soup. (laughs) Just as well, because who'd want to eat it? (laughs) Thank you. Uh, What kind of cat likes living in water? Uh, I don't know. What kind of cat likes living in water? An octopus. Oh, uh, octopus. All right, we're going to Valentine Public School where they've been very, very busy and they have sent through a whole bunch of jokes, which I'm going to run through. You ready? Go for it. Go for it. All right, Curtis, how do you make a tissue dance? How? You put a boogie in it. Ooh. <laughs> Angus has a joke too. Which is faster, hot or cold? I don't know. Cold because you can catch it. Ah, Boom tish again. (laughs) Walt's joke is what can travel the world but always stay in the corner? Hmm, A bit of a riddle. A riddle. I don't know. A stamp. Oh, so clever, Walt. Yeah, good one. Haley says, how do lions like their carrots? How do they like them? Roar! (laughs) A joke now from Henry. Today, at the bank, an old lady asked me to help her check her balance. So, I pushed her over. Pardon me. (laughs) Don't take this too literally, kids. (laughs) Yeah, best not try that at home. Hudson has a joke. What do you get when you cross a sheep with a kangaroo? Oh, this is an oldie bit of goodie. I think I know this one, Bryce. Is it a woolly jumper? Yes, it is, Christy. Well done. Joshua's joke is, what do you call someone with no body and no nose? What do you call them? Nobody knows. (laughs) Nobody knows. That's funny. (laughs) Eden and Harvey also sent in the same joke. Why did the toilet paper roll down the hill? Why? To get to the bottom. (laughs) I can see lots of kids laughing at that one. A little bit rude, but good. Yeah, we love a little bit of rude. Hudson's joke, why don't pirates shower before they walk the plank? I don't know. Tell me. Because they wash up 
on shore. <laughs> It's a literal joke. Brayden has a joke. Why don't you see people playing games when on safari? Oh, why? Because there are too many cheaters. <laughs> Sounds like my house. A joke now from Harper, still at Valentine Public School. What do you get when you cross a snail with a porcupine? Oh, what do you get when you cross a snail with a porcupine, Bryce? A slow poke. <laughs> And finally, Valentine Public School's Archer asks, can a kangaroo jump higher than a house? Mm, I don't know. Can a kangaroo jump higher than a house? Yes, of course it can, because a house can't jump. Oh, thank you, Archer. Very that was Very clever, wonderful. Archer. Very clever. Very clever. Very good. Wow. It was Valentine Public School. That was wonderful. Yeah, they're a funny bunch, aren't they, Valentine Public they're School? They're very cool. All right. Now we're going to Marul Block and we have a joke from Oliver. Why did the child bring a ladder to school? Why? Because he wanted to go to high school. Oh, okay. Good one. Oh, look, we've got two more jokes here from Valentine Public oh School that have snuck okay. in. Okay. Here's Daniel. What type of jam can you not eat? Mm, I don't know. A traffic jam. Ah, good one. A bit chewy. And finally from <laughs> Valentine Public School, we've got Cadence. And Cadence asks, what do you call a huge pile of cats? I don't know. A mountain. Meowton. Oh, very oh. good, Cadence. Very good. Here's a joke from Charlie in Macquarie Lakes. Why did it take so long for the pirates to learn the alphabet? Oh, I don't know. They got stuck at sea. Oh, prepare to be boarded. You know the letter C? They got stuck at the letter C? <laughs> I get it. <laughs> and now we're going to Ivy. Ivy says, what did the pig say on a hot day? Hmm, I don't know. What did the pig say on a hot day? I'm bacon. As in baking. <laughs> Very good, Ivy. And here's a joke from Chili. What do French fries do after they meet up after a long time? Mm, I don't know. What do they do? They catch up. <laughs> Get it? Ketchup. So funny. Now, a joke from Harper, again from Valentine Public School. You guys rock. Why did the cookie go to the doctor? Hmm, I don't know. Why? Because he was feeling crummy. Oh, yeah, good one. I like that. All right, now we're going to St John the Baptist Primary School in Kui Rup, where teacher Miss Dunkley has very kindly sent in a bunch of jokes from Class 12D. You ready, Christy? Awesome. Go for it. Why did the man run around his bed? Why? Because he was trying to catch up on his sleep. Oh, very good. <laughs> What kind of shoes do ninjas wear? I don't know. Tell me. Sneakers. Oh, yes. <laughs> Why did the boy throw his clock out the window? Oh, oh, can I answer this one? Yeah, go on. Because he wanted to see time fly. Ah, uh, well done. What did one hat say to the other? I don't know. Tell me. Stay here. I'm going on ahead. I'm going on ahead. I love that one. That's great. <laughs> Why is the corn so funny? Why is corn funny? I don't know. Because it's corny, Aww. Christy. It's corny. What do you call a cow on the side of a hill? Oh, these are really tricky. Um, nope, I don't know. A beef slider. <laughs> oh, here's a good one, an oldie but a goodie. Why was six scared of seven? Christ, I know this is your favourite joke. Go on, give us the answer. It is my favourite joke. Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is such a dad joke. What do you call a cheese that is not yours? Oh, what do you call it? Nacho cheese, as in not your cheese. Uh, Nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. Very good. <laughs> Why did the toilet paper... Oh, good, another toilet paper joke. Why did the toilet paper not make it across the road? Oh, <laughs> is this going to be a rude answer? I don't know. Tell me. Yeah, because it got stuck in a crack. <laughs> I see no one's actually put their name to that joke, probably yeah. just as well. Knock, knock. Who's there? Arch. Arch who? Bless you, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> and one final riddle from Class 12D. What do you get when you put a white T-shirt in red water? Mm, I don't know. What do you get? You get a wet T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs>
course you do. Of course you do. I love how easily amused you are. It pleases me. (laughs) It's great. And St. John the Baptist Primary School, you guys are amazing. Very funny. Okay. And now we're moving on to class 1RH. They're from Artaman Mm. Public School. All right. Are you ready, Bryce? I'm ready. All right. Why was the bride sad on her wedding day? I don't know. She wasn't marrying the best man. Oh, I see. Yeah, good, good, good. (laughs) I thought that was awesome. What would happen if every Woolworth store burned down? Oh, I don't know. You'd only have coals left, as in coals Ah, in the fire. (laughs) Very funny. I like it. Good. Bryce, why should you never trust stairs? Why? They're always up to something. (laughs) Good one. And why did the bullet end up losing his job? Mm, He got fired? Yes. (laughs) Great. Got one. (laughs) All right, here's a knock-knock for you. Knock-knock. Who's there? Dexter. Dexter who? Dexter halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> oh, nice. A Christmas theme joke. Lovely. I'm uh, moving right along to the next one after my singing. Did you hear about the mathematician who's afraid of negative numbers? No. He'll stop at nothing to avoid them. Oh. Oh, love a good maths joke. That's awesome. Love a good math joke. <laughs> oh, and a science joke coming up. Uh-huh. A photon is going through airport security when a guard stops it and asks if it has any luggage. Yeah. The photon replied, no, I'm travelling light. <laughs> a travelling light it's photon. It's me that loves that it. one. I love it. Yeah, that's, that's a particularly sciencey joke, but I like it. Very funny. And finally, why did the man get rid of his vacuum cleaner? Why? All it was doing was gathering dust. Oh, I like it. I'm putting that one in my dad joke file. Love <laughs> Here's that. Here's a question now from Eden in Matraville. What did one toilet say to the other? Oh, good, another toilet joke. I love a Ooh, toilet joke. What did one toilet say to the other? You look a bit flushed. Oh, <laughs> then that's cute. <laughs> And we've got a few jokes now from Pascal in Essendon. Okay, firstly, Pascal Mm -hmm. asks, what do you call a flower that runs on electricity? I don't know. A power plant. Ah, good one. What kind of music does a mummy, the Egyptian kind, like? Hmm, I don't know. It's rap music. You know, bandages, mummies. Wrapped in bandages. Okay, very funny. (laughs) Uh, Final one. Why was there thunder in the lab? Why? The scientists were brainstorming. Ah, (laughs) good one, Pascal. (laughs) Erskineville Public School have sent in some jokes. Oscar and Sierra have some jokes for us. Oh, okay. Why did the toilet paper roll up the hill this time? (laughs) So much toilet paper, tell me, Bryce. A lot of toilet paper. Because it wanted to escape the bottom. Ah. Mm -hmm. See, they flipped that one on its head. Second joke from Merskinville Public School. How can you tell a dog from a tree? Oh, I don't know. Tell me. By its bark. Oscar and Sierra. (laughs) Good work, guys. (laughs) Here's a good one. What do you call an alligator in a vest? Ooh, I don't know. Tell me. An investigator. Oh, investigator. that's in a, vest. a good one. Investigator. Love that. Why does Dracula brush his teeth three times a day? Mmm, something about blood and something awful. I don't know. It is pretty awful because he has bat breath. Bad breath. Bat breath. He has bad breath. Gross. Nice one, Oscar and Sierra. Well done. Uh, all right, now we're going to Wilbur. Wilbur's from Gerildery. Oh, good. What's the best thing about Sweden? I don't know. Oh, I don't know either, but the flag is a big plus. Oh, <laughs> that's good. And also from Wilbur, <laughs> did you hear about the new restaurant, Karma? No. There are no menus, but you get what you deserve. Oh, <laughs> oh that is good, Wilbur. I like that a lot. Let's go now to Ianch in Blacktown. Why did the dog sit in the shade? Mm, oh, because he didn't want to be a hot dog. There you go. You got it. (laughs) Here's another one as well from Ianch. Why did the one-legged man go to the ATM? I don't know. Tell me. 
because he wanted to check his balance. <laughs> oh, that was actually really good. Um, okay, <laughs> Hugh from Parkdale. Here's another knock knock joke, Bryce. Ready? Okay. Yep. Knock knock. Who's there? Egg. Egg who? That's an excellent question. Oh, uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> and Isaac, who's also from Parkdale, why was the soccer pitch wet? Why? Oh, because the players kept dribbling on it. <laughs> That's a good one. Now to Audrey in Canberra, who has a joke. Why did the golfer bring two pairs of socks to golf? Oh, I've got no idea. Think about it. Think about it. Because in case he got a hole in one. <laughs> And now to Flynn from Holland Park. Oh, loving these knock-knocks. Knock-knock, Bryce. Who's there, Christy? Mmm. Mmm who? Don't be a cow. Oh, good one, no. Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> now to Jasmine in Bayside who asks, what did the scientist say when she found bones on the moon? Oh, that's really unusual. I don't know. Looks like the cow didn't make it. <laughs> The cow that jumped over the moon. Okay. And um, we're going to New Lambton Public School, Class 34V. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, here we go. What do you get when you mix a plane, a car, and a dog? Mm, I don't know. A flying carpet. Oh, God. <laughs> That's a dad joke. Uh, it is. Add it to your list. A windmill asked another windmill. What's your favourite type of music? The other windmill replied, I'm a big metal fan. Ah, a big metal fan. Good one. Uh, I went to the restaurant dressed as a tennis ball. What happened? Don't know. I got served straight away. Oh, good. Yeah. (laughs) So a penguin builds an igloo. What does he do to make the igloo solid? He igloos it down. Oh, he glues it down. Very good. Why did the son not go to college? Why? Because it had too many degrees. Oh, son, S-U-N. The son had too many degrees. (laughs) Nice work. And why did the cricket team hire a baker? I don't know. Because they needed a new batter. As in fried up in butter. Oh, bakers make, yes, very good cake batter. Very funny. So good. Good work, New Lambton Public School. Oh, nice work. Why did the dinosaur cross the road? Why? Because chickens didn't exist yet. Oh, (laughs) well, that's true. Okay, another one. What did Sushi A say to Sushi B? What? Wasabi. Oh, wasabi. What's up, B? What's up, B? What's up, B? Why did the nurse need a red pen at work? Why? In case she needed to draw blood. Of course. (laughs) That's good. Uh, What kind of dog does a magician have? What? A labracadabrador. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) I think that might be my favourite so far. That's very good, yeah. How is a banana good at gymnastics? How? It can do the splits. Oh, of course. Right. Do you want to hear my construction joke? Yeah. Sorry, I'm still working on it. (laughs) Oh, funny. And a final one from New Lambton Public School. Why didn't the skeleton climb up the mountain? Why, Christy? Because he didn't have the guts. (laughs) Good work, New Lambton. All right, let's go to Beaconsfield Primary School. Room 13 have a bunch of jokes, starting with Finlay's knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Europe. Europe who? No, Europe who. (laughs) Thank you, Finlay. Yeah, thanks, Finlay. That's lovely. Moving straight on to Cohen. Hello, what's your name? Is it Potter? Because you're hairy. Get it? Harry Potter. Yep. Mason has a good joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? <laughs> to go to his uncle's funeral at KFC. <laughs> oh, dark, Mason. Oh, Mason, that's dark. B's joke is, what do you get if you cross a cat with a bird? I don't know. What do you get? One very happy cat. 
I like it's I like the so black dark. humor that's going on down there in Beaconsfield. <laughs> Good work. Here we go. Archie has a joke. What do you say to a hitchhiking frog? I don't know. Hop in. <laughs> Straight on to Jimmy's knock knock joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Oh, don't cry, Christy. It's just a joke. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sienna asks, how does Darth Vader prefer his toast? Oh, I don't know. How does Darth Vader like his toast? On the dark side. <laughs> Good one, Sienna. I told you they were dark down there in Beaconsfield. And Sienna has another joke. What do you call an Oreo that fell on the floor? Mm, I don't know, but I'm sad about it. Tell me. <laughs> a Florio, a Florio, Florio, Florio. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Beaconsfield Primary there, Crackers. Thank you. Okay, and now we're going to Alex. Alex is from Baldwin. Getting close to the end. Oh, are we? Oh, that's mad. All right, why is the sky so high? I don't know. So the birds don't bump their heads. Ouch. <laughs> Good one. And our final bunch of jokes come to us from Class 34D at Shoal Bay Public School, where Leo has a joke. He says, on a hot day, there were two sausages on a grill. One says, geez, it's hot. What did the other sausage say? Oh, I don't know. Wow, a talking sausage. <laughs> that is unusual. <laughs> it's literal. I like it. Lachlan asks, why did Darth Vader cross the road? Oh, this is not dissimilar to our joke from Sienna in uh, Beaconsfield, just Ooh, as a hint. Oh, okay. okay. Can, can I guess then? Yeah, go on. To get to the dark side? Yeah, to get to the dark <laughs> side, of course. Joke from Ella. Two snakes are slithering on a path. One snake says, hey, mate, are we venomous? And the other says, why would you ask that? And of course we are. And the first one says, well, I just bit my tongue. <laughs> Oops, the daisy. That's not good. You don't want to be doing that. And the last joke for our Jokeathon comes from Max in Shoal Bay. Why can't a flower ride a bike? Oh, why can't a flower ride a bike, Max? Because he's lost his pedals. His pedals oh. have been lost. <laughs> oh, they were wonderful, Bryce. What a funny bunch of kids we have, huh? Yeah. Well, that was a hoot. I think, actually, Christy, I may have wet my pants a little bit. <laughs> Nobody needs to know that. Now, as promised, Christy, we've chosen a couple of winners of the best individual jokes plus the best classroom jokes. And the winner... Oh, OK. Who have you picked? You ready? I think we might need a drum roll for yeah. this. Drum roll, please, from okay. Carter, our amazing sound engineer. All right. And the winner of the best individual joke goes to... Wilbur of Gerildery. I loved his jokes. Did you hear about the new restaurant called Karma, which has no menus, you just get what you deserve. <laughs> I like that because I think it's a borderline dad joke. I think that's why that appealed to me. Christy, who would you say you can choose the winner of the best classroom jokes? Who was the best classroom sender in of jokes for this Squiz Kids Jokeathon? Oh, Bryce, it was so tough, but I'm going to give an honourable mention to Class 1RH at R. Tarman Public School, who included some really good math and science jokes. Oh, yes. However, mm. the winner of the best classroom submission Let's get is a drum roll, please. again. Drum roll. Valentine Public School Woo! included nose blowing porcupines and cats. You really can't go they wrong with that. They did put in an impressive effort. Well done, Valentine Public School. Nice work, people. We'll be in touch and we'll get your prizes to you in the new year. Now, I don't know about you, Christy, but I need to have a lie down after all that hilarity. Squiz kids are a seriously bunch of funny humans. They are amazing. And a huge thank you to everyone who sent us in a joke. Yeah. We tried to squeeze them all in. Some jokes were double ups. And mm. others may have arrived, unfortunately, after our submission date. Yeah. But before we go, let's just remind listeners of all our great summer holiday content we've got lined up. Yeah, good idea, Christy. Kids have no excuse to be bored this summer, thanks to Squiz Kids. Every Friday of the holidays, we'll be putting out a bumper kids versus adult quiz on topics as varied as the world's weirdest animals to the movies of 2023 to see, once and for all, who's smarter, kids or adults. And every Monday of the Holes, we'll publish our Squiz Kids shortcut on topics as varied as Christmas traditions around the world to ice cream and mm. roller coasters. 
And of course, a Squiz Kids Book Club episode every Wednesday where kids review books for other kids. Love it. All of this great content, of course, will drop in the Squiz Kids feed. Just subscribe in your favourite podcasting app to make sure you don't miss out. So whether you're on a road trip or you're hanging out at home, Squiz Kids has got you covered for summer. And you're very welcome. So I guess this means there's only one thing left to do, Bryce. You want to do the honours? Yeah, go on then. Now get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out.